Now that I have my mobile menu here with the curtain menu popping out, that hides when I go to my desktop view and reveals my desktop menu with a drop down. I'm kind of almost there. Now the only thing is that, of course, because my desktop has a drop down menu, I'm probably going to want those links on my mobile version as well. I haven't put those into the uh, curtain menu that we created earlier. I want to add those now. So what I want to do is I want to have it so when my user taps on drop down here, it drops down those three links that we get in the drop down here. Okay, not with a rollover, but with a tap instead. So on click basically. Um, and I'm going to do that using another tutorial from W3Schools. So if I come back to my W3Schools tutorials over here, I'm actually looking at this one called Accordion right now. And an accordion basically has a button that hides and reveals content. So when I click on this, it reveals the content in the box underneath it. Now that's exactly what I want to do. I want to have a button called drop down, click on it, and then a list of links pop up inside that that are my drop down options. And then I can click on it again to make them go away. There's a bunch of different things I can do here, but this is basically what I want. As usual, this is made of the three main components. We've got our HTML here. Now the HTML is incredibly simple because it's really just these four lines of code. We have the button with a class of accordion, and that outlines our button here. Great, the thing we can click on. Then we have this div with a class of panel, which contains the content within it that is revealed and hidden. Great, good. That's exactly it. That ends the div. That's just the content of the div. And that's it, that's set. So that's the only HTML we're going to need. Really, really simple HTML there. The CSS is equally very simple. We actually have two things that affect the accordion itself, which is the button. So this button here, this gray bar, is controlled or has the properties assigned to class accordion and of course class accordion hover which is when we hover over our accordion button now we've already got the drop down button styled the way we want it so we aren't actually going to need any of this accordion stuff here we're only going to need some of the stuff in panel which we'll cover in just a little bit but that's the stuff we're going to need to actually style what does the stuff inside the drop down area look like Finally, we have some more JavaScript code. Now there's two different versions of this JavaScript code in here. We've either got this basic version, which makes the content appear or disappear, just pops into place, disappears again, you know, just frame by frame kind of thing. If we come down to the uh, animated accordion, it slides down and it has that nice transition that we can see at the top where it kind of, kind of folds out from in there. There's a couple of things that are a little bit different. If we use that, you can see that it actually changes the CSS slightly. And then there are the styles underneath, or the script underneath. We're not going to worry about what the script says or working on the script. I'm actually just going to try this yourself. And this is the one we're going to work with. So I'm going to do the one with the animation because I think that will look nice. See this. Yeah, nice little bit of animation here. It looks good. And I'm going to need to get the HTML class of accordion into my uh, Dreamweaver document and I'm going to need to get the CSS class of panel into my Dreamweaver document. Now I could copy and paste this and then populate it but actually we've already made all of the content for our drop down menu so I don't want to have to kind of faff about putting some of it into here and kind of taking some of it out or anything. If I actually go back to my Dreamweaver document and we look at the code for my desktop navigation, we can see in here, I have all of these elements here in this area set up with, here's my drop down button, this link here for drop down, and here is the drop down content. Now they're labeled with drop button and drop content currently, because that's what makes the drop down on my desktop work, but I could actually just change those class names over in the uh, the uh, mobile nav and then we can actually get them to work there. So I'm going to just copy this, I'm going to move it 
up to where I want them in the mobile nav. So I'm just going to look for mob nav. I've got my labels to tell me where everything is. There's my mob nav. This is where it all appears. There's all my overlay content. Great, it goes in the overlay. So I'm just going to pop it in underneath there before the end of that div. Paste it there. Now what I should find is I've actually got two buttons here. because I've got the original one, which is just a plain link. And then I've got the other one, which I've just pasted in, which is this one here, which has got all the classes and stuff associated with it. Don't need the first one. Going to delete it. There we go. Now I've just got the one drop down. Now currently we cannot see our links. Well, that's partly because of the fact that they've got all of these classes attached that we don't even need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace drop down or drop button, sorry, with accordion. Now I'm just going to type the word accordion, but of course we could come back to here and we could copy and paste from here if we wanted to make sure we get it exactly right. But I know how to spell accordion, I think. So I'm just going to type it in. A-C-C-O-R-D-I-O-N. Accordion. Great. That's that. And then the other one down the bottom here, this div, all right, well, this div will serve as our panel. So I'm just going to get rid of drop down content and in, instead replace that with panel. So now I have my class for accordion and I have my class for panel all set up. Theoretically, that means that I won't need to do any more HTML. The only things I'm going to need to do I'll bring in my uh, CSS and my JavaScript. Now you can see that because I've turned off the classes for the drop down previously, they're no longer hidden here. This is kind of good. I could leave it like this, to be honest. It still functions perfectly well, as long as I've got all my links in here. But I want this to be fancy. I want it to have the drop down. So I'm going to come back to my tutorial, as always, and I'm going to go and find the JavaScript first. I'm going to select all of this. Now, I don't need the script tags this time. Everything between the script tags I need, including all of my curly braces again. Right click, copy that, go to Dreamweaver, and then in the same place I put my previous JavaScript, I can put this again. Now, I could technically put it into new script tags, but I don't need to, so I'm just going to put another note or another. Uh, line under here, paste this stuff in with control V. So now that I have that JavaScript in there, I just need to come back and add in a little bit of CSS that tells my menu here to be hidden and then to reveal when this is clicked. So just going to close that again, come back to my tutorial, up to the CSS. Now I don't need to do anything to accordion. The accordion button is perfectly fine as is, so I don't need to worry about that. Instead, all I need to worry about is this stuff in panel here. I don't even need all of it, so I'm going to copy it all in to start with. So from the class, including the dot and the curly brace, all the way down through the properties to the next curly brace and beyond. Copy that back to my Dreamweaver document into the CSS, pop it in where I need it, just at the end, paste. Now that puts panel in there, good. Now if I were to go to my drop down now, it should all be working fine, right? They've hidden, I click on them, they pop up, but they don't really look very good. I want to change the styles of these because what this was basically doing is it was adding some padding I don't really need, so I can get rid of that. And it adds a background color of white, which again, I don't really need, so I can get rid of that. I'm going to leave the max height, the overflow, and the transition, which are all things to do with the actual uh, animation that happens here. Okay, I'll leave those in place, but everything else I can get rid of. Now my links go to popping in and out and being reasonable looking right now I probably do want to make a little bit of a change here but that's it functional right if I test this now so I file uh, save all and then we test this to make sure it's working Let's preview it in Google Chrome so now that I've got my menu in place and everything's working as I say I can do some things to style these uh, I want to make these links slightly different just some sort of 
kind of hierarchy of information here to show that they are a drop down from my drop down list here. Um, now I might change the color of that as well. I could use the accordion class to make some changes to my drop down. But what I want to do is I just want to work with these for now. Obviously, for your own designs, you would do whatever you want to do for your design. I'm just going to stick with this for now because it's a simple approach. I'm going to come in to my CSS designer and rather than using panel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use panel A, so dot panel and then space A for an active link because remember now that I've added them, they're links. Come back to my text color here, and I should find, if I select the color here, uh, now what color do I want these links to go? I think I'm gonna make these go, let's say the pink color that's in my, uh, my logo here, because that's gonna be part of my branding. So let's just go for that pink color. And so now I should find that if I go to my drop down here, all of these things are pink. Yep, they roll over in white, which looks good. And that's it. I have now made a curtain menu with a drop down inside it. So that gives me for my full website here. If I test again, file, save all. Then I preview my browser. I've got a desktop view with a nice drop down with rollovers. I've got rollovers on each of my links here. In my mobile view. I have a curtain menu that pops in from the side, roll over on all of those, click on one of them, I've got a drop down and then all the drop down links are in a slightly different colour so that I can tell that they are drop downs of this. Click on that again, close it up and there you go. That is it. That is a couple of different navigation menus for a responsive website giving you a mobile navigation that is quite different to your desktop navigation.